subsidy removal ought to be a good policy if properly planned. Our four refineries was anyone working as at the time the removal was announced? Do we have our fuel depot, depots all over the Federation, like the one in Benin? Do you have anyone be supplied petrol? Federal government is making use of private farms. NFPC is making use of private dumps. And these dumps are mainly along the Atlantic uh, Ocean lines. Our roads goods, that even the tankers that are loading from Lagos, from Wari, from uh, just along the Atlantic, going to the far north. How many of them really get to their destinations? One of the reasons they used the babbling everybody was that our neighboring countries were the ones enjoying the subsidy. As we speak, they are still enjoying it. People deliberately built fuel stations close to the boundaries, massively across the Federation. An NLPC or our oil company will supply fine products. And before you know it, through collaboration with our security agencies, most of these trucks, they cross the borders. And they are still crossing as we are talking. When the federal government started the issue of palliatives, have you also forgotten that the same federal government went to the electricity sector to increase electricity, to allow electricity tariff increase by banding all the groups into different, uh, banding everybody to different groups, group A, group B, group C. Are you aware that that decision alone is yet another troublesome decision that has rendered many manufacturing sectors into troubles? Are you aware that decision alone is affecting a lot of our higher institutions today? And there is a proposal now that students have to be paid 80,000 naira as an electricity charge. Are you aware that even the small scale industries are packing up because of that decision? Now, the manufacturing sector is almost in limbo, so to speak. Are you aware that even those who are manufacturing drugs for us in Nigeria before now have started living to other countries and the price of paracetamol and others are on the rooftop now? Do you know the number of people that are dying, God, God forbid, dying on daily basis? Death is not our portion, but people are dying on daily basis because of inability to afford basic medicals. Thousands of Nigerians are dying. People can't even have two square meals. Let us not even put the word square. Let, people can't even have two meals in a day. <laughs>